Well, we'd like people to get a little bit more information as to what they're doing and where they're doing it at. I mean, half the time the social media just shows the, uh, the sort of the Christmas package gift wrap of the beauty of this place, but it doesn't show the hidden dangers that are involved in it. Um, a lot of the people are, just don't have the experience. They don't know what they're doing. It's the first time they've been in a kayak or the first time that they've ever snorkeled. Some of them can't even swim, yet they'll be willing to go get a kayak and go a mile and a half out to the Mokaluas. If, if they don't know the conditions around what's happening out there, I mean, it's always dangerous out there. It could be actually a really um, offshore day where it looks beautiful on one side of the island, but if there's a swell running or if there's some sort of current going or the tide changing, the back side of the island can be really treacherous even though it looks really calm. The cliff jumping is always a risk because they don't know what to expect. They don't know if there's going to be a wave coming in, bouncing off of a rock. They don't know what's underneath, how shallow it is, how deep it is. They don't know where the current's going. So half the time, if they get in trouble at, the, at that point, it's hard for them to get back out. Um, we've seen anything from lacerations to compound fractures. I mean, whichever way you want to pull it. Back injuries, shoulder dislocations, arms, legs, you name it, we've got it. It's a risk for them every day. It's been about oh, three years now since we've had a rescue craft out here, and I think that they've done way more than a lot of people have even come close to expecting. I think their numbers as far as just on uh, preventative actions and assists, those numbers could be statistics, bad ones. Anywhere from the flash mob to whatever, it's, whatever you want to call it, I mean, basically what happens is, like I said, they sugarcoat it, and it makes it look really pretty. And more often than not, a lot of times on those days when you have those beautiful photographs, it is. It's very pretty, but it's not every day. Um, the windward side of Oahu, probably onshore wind like this, maybe 300 days out of the year. You know, you'd be lucky if you get two weeks that have Kona winds where it's offshore trade winds and beautiful like a lake. So almost every day you, you can consider it having some sort of hazard being happening out there. The first thing I think they should discuss the conditions and where they're going and what they want to do with the lifeguards if there are lifeguards on the beach or with the rental people as well. Um, you got to know what's, what you're going into, you know, before you know what the, what the damage can be done from it. I, you know, it's hard, it's hard to say it and that's the reason why I guess we're probably doing this thing is to uh, enlighten people and give them a little bit more knowledge.